I don't think you can reasonably look uh, at, at China as impartial in any way. Um, they haven't condemned this in uh, this invasion. Um, they haven't stopped buying Russian oil and Russian energy. Um, President Xi saw fit to fly all the way to Moscow, hasn't talked once to President Zelensky, hasn't visited Ukraine, hasn't bothered to uh, avail himself of the Ukrainian objective, and uh, he and his regime keeps parroting the Russian propaganda that this is somehow the, a, a war of the West on Russia, that it's some sort of existential threat to Mr. Putin. That's just a bunch of malarkey. Ukraine posed no threat to anybody, let alone Russia. If, uh, if he's uh, willing to talk to President Zelensky um, and willing to get the other side, um, and, uh, and, and we, you know, if, if any future potential negotiation can incorporate uh, Ukrainian views and perspectives uh, and can be achieved and, pr and, and uh, pursued with Ukraine, as, we, as President Biden has said, nothing about Ukraine without Ukraine. If, if that's the direction, then that's something that, uh, that could be seen as, as, uh, as impartial, but I just don't think right now that they can be seen that way. Can truly be impartial and Ukraine is on board for talks. Uh, is that something that the U.S. would support if Ukraine were interested in China brokered talks? We, nothing about Ukraine without Ukraine. If President Zelensky, if there's a path put forward that President Zelensky can get behind and that he believes uh, will help lead to a, a just peace as he refers to it, uh, then he'll find no better friend in that effort than the United States. Okay.